feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which, as you all know, the panel is blindfolded. Are blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? As you know, different form of questioning this time. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin things with uh, Phyllis Newman. That was an extraordinary reception. Are you somewhat of an institution? <laughs> I may answer that question and say certainly yes. What about Mr. Morgan, the are you um, a male institution? <laughs> See, Miss Francis. <laughs> well, are you making a picture here in the East? <laughs> Yes. Mr. Sir. Well, there's a great big all-star baseball game coming up. Have you got anything to do with the sports world? No. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> no? Nine. That's two down a date to go, Miss Newman. Are you tall and wildly attractive? <laughs> Morgan? Uh, I... I didn't... Uh, Paula, uh, you're tall and wildly attractive? I, I really, I couldn't hear the answer because yes. of the... the, the yes. Yes. Are you President Johnson? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> That's three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. I don't care who you are, I hope you stay forever. <laughs> uh, are you Rock Hudson? <laughs> yes. No, that's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Are you in something other than the entertainment business? We. <laughs> Miss Newman. He is. Are you yes. just the most adorable mayor there's ever been? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he. Uh. <laughs> no, no, that's five down and five to go, Mr. Morgan. What are you doing about the trouble with the buildings up? Wait, I may have the wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> are you the mayor of New York? That's no. Six down and four to go, Mr. President. <laughs> Oh, dear. Are you indeed in government? See, si. Mr. Sir. Oh. Do you sometimes, on the side, make a record or two? <laughs> uh, huh? Huh? Are you Senator Dirksen? Elected to the House of Representatives in 1932, to the Senate of the United States in 1950, and in 1966 made his, I guess, your first recording. Of course, not act the first one for national distribution. It became an instantaneous hit. <laughs> and in 1967, has made another recording for Capitol Records. Man is not alone. Man is not alone. And knowing a bit about Washington, and, and uh, having had the joy, if I may say so, sir, of knowing the senator since 1937, when I first went to Washington, I know that he feels that uh, one of the problems that we all suffer from these days is a malaise of the spirit. And man is not alone is a return to some of the values which, as a boy, he learned in New in Illinois, which he thinks will help all of us. And, that's a, and uh, I 
I think uh, with you doing the record, sir, it's got to be insp inspire a lot of people. Wonderful to have you. John, I'd rather make it so. And wonderful to have you. And I must say, you're such, you're such a wonderful sport. You had as much fun here as we did while they rocked Hudson all over the place and mayored all over the place. So good to see you again, sir. I bet you'll be good.